Hello, hello. I have a new package today. So let's open it up and see what we got. If it's noisy, I apologize. My Cricut is cutting me some new Tumblr care cards. So that's where I'm at with my day. All right. So this is the Koala High Holographic Vinyl Paper Starry in 10 Sheets. So this is the upgraded printable vinyl sticker paper. Um, they asked if I wanted to try it, and I said, sure. Absolutely, why not? So I'm going to have to read the back for the settings. Do not use outdoors. Do not spray the clear acrylic paint. The waterproof, this is the waterproof vinyl Waterproof printable vinyl sticker. Please note the coating will turn clear or white while getting wet, but will restore after completely dry. So. I think it should be okay. I should be able to print it with my printer. And, wow. Um, and these are both the same, so. I should be able to print over this with an image and then apply it to a tumbler is my hope. I may even try to print off a couple of my like turtle stickers that I put on my packaging. Um, hang on. Just for fun. I stick these little guys on my packages and sometimes in my cups when I have a sale and I ship them out. So I think that might be a kind of fun use for it. So uh, once I'm done printing, cutting my, oh, actually, you know what? I can't because it's not white. I'm not gonna be able to cut it with my Cricut. Shoot. Um, I wonder if I can think up an end around for that because that would be really cute. And I don't wanna sit here and hand cut them. Um, Maybe what I'll do is I'll redesign the sticker slightly so I can cut it as just a square or maybe even a two inch circle because then I could just punch them. That would probably be cute. I'm going to figure it out because I want to try that. So, but I'm going to go pick an image. I have a bunch of files that I've been pulling to do tumbler wraps anyways for sublimation and whatnot so i'm gonna go pick one and get it printed and i'll be back okay so i'm just gonna show you my new care cards quick just since they're sitting here um i normally use these nice laminated ones that come from makerflow but um <clears throat> i needed something i wanted something custom with the name and the logo and um, I needed something for all of the other cups I've been doing that aren't maker flow. So printed myself off a stack of those and let's talk about how awesome this looks. This is going to be so fun. So I'm going to get this trimmed down to size. I'm going to just do this on a stainless tumbler and uh, we'll see how it goes. No ceiling. No, no anything. It's just going to go on the cup. I don't even know if these are clear or solid. I should probably check. Oh, okay. I figured as much, but, you know. So, <clears throat> very, very cute. I'll have to find some other images that would look cute on this. And I'll also need to pull a cup before I make my final trims. But it printed really nice. I did have to do a paper override, which I expected. Because, you know, it knew that this wasn't glossy photo paper. So... Yeah, 
I'm going to get a cup down. I'm going to get ready and we will come back and see if I can get this on a cup without smearing and smudging the ink. Oh, and my printer's done, so hang on. So I laid these out as a two by two and it cut 12 of them on a page. So This box is already assembled for shipping, so I typically put my little turtle sticker on. I might hand trim this one a little bit. I want to do some in a circle, but I have to find my larger circle punch first. Um, I don't know where it is. I usually put one of my little logo stickers on the outside of a box. And this one is so cute. It's probably getting a lot of glare and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of that rainbow showing up because it's right under the light. And get ready to apply this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to get the wrap on this. Um... I'm going to dry fit it first and I want to show you and I had to go back and look at the image because I was like there's no way I cut that that crooked. I didn't. Um, it's, it's not intended for the plaids to line up the way it's printed. So don't think I'm crazy and I'm putting this on that wonky because I am not. I promise. So I'm going to peel back some of the paper. I'm going to cut a slot off. And I'm going to put it back on. I'm going to rewrap it. You know, I just slid it pretty far. So I'm going to peel that back off and start again. It's very slippery. I'm just going to work around and push it on. This is fairly thick, so it's um, not too bad. Somehow my edges are all sorts of messed up. Go figure. So, you know what we do then? We break out the edge trimmer. Deal with that in a minute, though. Just 
just trying to peel this. Stuff is sturdy. I'll give it that. I'm going to bring it up one more for the bottom. So now I have nice clean edges. Um, I am just going to grab an alcohol wipe and wipe around the edge, not over the printing, but also the bottom, just because it does have a little bit of adhesive, because again, very sturdy. Ooh, I hit my printing a little bit there by accident. Hopefully that doesn't affect my ink too much. All right. So we have the tumbler wrapped and uh, there is not a bubble to be had. This is like flawless. So I'm excited about that. You saw I have my nail lamp ready because we are going to put some glitter on the bottom. I'm going to use my um, Let's Resin UV Clear Hard Type um, resin for this. So I'm going to put some in my cup. There we go. Put that back away. And I'm going to use this Three Queen glitter again from Element OP Design Boutique because it's got the silver and the gold, which is perfect for this cup. So I'm gonna mix a little bit in there. And I'm gonna put that right in the center. I'm going to spread it around. I'm going to try and keep it in the confines of this circle. So I'm just going to kind of run my torch sideways over this just to pop any air bubbles in the resin. And it'll also make it flow a little bit more. 
So I'm going to kind of straighten it back out a little bit. Now that it's more malleable. Okay. So because I don't want to stand here and hold my UV lamp up for two minutes, I'm going to take two slightly taller tumbler boxes, position them around that, pop my lamp up here, and I'm going to give it two minutes. Um, with the color of this glitter, two minutes should actually set this resin up just fine. distracted. So that is pretty good, but I like to give it a little extra insurance. So I'm going to give it another 90 second run. Once this is done, it'll be hard and we'll be able to go over to epoxy. Okay, so we are going to get this coated. Now remember, the directions on the back said no acrylic spray. So, no clear spray paint. We'll see if it holds up to epoxy. And it should. It's not transferring at all on my glove so far, so. All right, I'm going to give it a quick torch and uh, have a look at it. So, well, there we go. This vinyl is fantastic. Can you see it through there? You've got to be able to, especially in this lighting. Very cool. I am very happy with this. So, yeah, I definitely got to like start looking for more images I can use with this vinyl on top of just doing my stickers. And I still haven't had time to look for my circle punch, so I can't do those yet. But I am quite pleased. So, uh, Holographic Stars Printable Vinyl from Koala Brand. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.